All right, guys, welcome back to a, another Vintage Cube draft on Magic Online. Oh, Sarah's not gone. I thought she was gone. She's not gone. I'm going to take this Mana Vault. Um, this pack is, is relatively reasonable. Signet, Signet, two good, two very good white planeswalkers, a Jace. Um, I'm going to take the Mana Vault, and I feel like something good is going to come back in this pack, so... Mana Vault, it is. Empty the Warrens. Any stipulations before we start, guys? You want to, guys? You guys want to do a? Uh, I agreed with passing Mana Crypt. I don't think Mana Crypt is great. I um, think it's actually more like there's there's way more times that I've lost to Mana Crypt. So the thing is, like, people look at Mana Crypt in a vacuum, and they're like, oh, it's it's two mana, it's fantastic, wow, you just get to... I actually like Reanimator. We haven't done a Reanimator, and I'm, I'm on board with that. You know, two mana, cool, super great, wow. Um, the problem is, unless you have a card on turn two that costs one colored mana and two colorless mana... You're not gonna be you're you're not gonna be able to play it. I can't play a Flicker Wisp on turn two off Mana Crypt. I can't play a Kitchen Finx. I can't play a Lana War Elves. I can't play a Vendillion Click. I can't play any of the cards in this pack other than Buried Alive off of a Mana Crypt. No, 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 and no. So like you have to look at the format too. You can't just look at the Mana Crypt and be like, wow, it's super strong. Um Because it doesn't work like that. And a lot of times you'll just be like, well, I took 12 off of this Mana Crypt. And uh, wasn't able to really do anything. Alright, so now we have... I like Shriek Maw. I don't like Shallow Grave because it just... It's like... There's so many creatures in this in this cube that don't actually stay in the graveyard. And we already have Buried Life. I don't know. I mean, I guess if we're... It is an instant, so actually we can go Buried Alive, and if we have enough mana, we can actually... It might be Shallow Grave, actually. Because um, we can go Buried Alive, and then with like the Ulamog or the Emrakul or whatever trigger on the stack, we can Shallow Grave it. So I think I'm taking Shallow Grave here. I don't think any of these other cards are great for Reanimator, so... Toxic Deluge is nice. Badlands is good. I don't think we need to be red, though. Could just be Mono Black Necropotence Reanimator. That's kind of funny. Bizarre of Baghdad. It's probably bizarre, right? Gristlebrand is definitely still in the queue. I'm going to take the Bizarre because I think it's one of the stronger cards. Um, Through the Breach is a little is a little cool. That's actually... Through the Breach is great for us. Wow. I am going to take Through the Breach. And um, there's a bunch of cards in this pack I hope will come back. I don't mind Skin Render. I think it's a good card. Uh, I don't mind Bloodstained Mire. Survival is cool. Could just be Terminate. We could take this Moat. That's pretty sweet. JK. That's a throwback to the last draft if you guys watched that. Oh, uh, we're not breaching anything yet, but we're also not shallow graving or buried alive anything, so <laughs> Look, I mean you can't have a you can't discriminate against breach when two of the other cards in our deck are setup cards for a, a strategy as well. Uh I do like Dark Dwellers. It gets back a shallow grave. Probably better than Terminate, especially because we can through the breach them and Actually, this is... Yeah, I, th I like I like Goblin Dark Dwellers here. Nothing great here. Could just take Chandra. I don't really like Dark Confidant in a Reanimator deck, so I'm just going to take the Chandra. Angler is a guy. I guess we just take Angler. We could also Desperate Ritual into Through the Breach. That's a thing. It's one of these two. I don't think Angler's that impressive. I think Ritual's a better card. Like, Angler's just a big dumb 5-5 five, five that gets blocked by everything. All right, first pack, we don't see... We still have Gideon, I only have Zendikar in here. 
I like Murderous Cut and I like Bonfire. Bonfire seems pretty fun. We have no creatures, which is funny. I'm going to take Murderous Cut. Liliana Death, Death's Majesty is pretty good. Wow, Empty the Warrens, too. Hmm. I'm going to stick to my guns with this reanimator deck. And we're going to see what happens. Just take Angel of Sanctions in case we want to put it in the sideboard to just bury it alive. Or we could just be Mardu. Mardu reanimator. Yeah, also cut is nice because we can exile the cards that are on top of the Shallow Grave. I'm going to take Deluge. I think it's stronger than Copper Line Gorge. I can see... Oh! Wow. I'm going to take Nahiri. That's really strong. And Great Rubber. All right. All these cards are pretty good. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a ton of easy creatures to get, I think. I'm not really too concerned with that. Oh, also, we can splice through the breach off of Desperation. We're taking the Emrakul. <laughs> not close. Emrakul Aeon's Torn is exactly where you want to be. Um, the The hard thing is that you can't uh, put her in the in the graveyard, but we do have the option to activate Bizarre, discard her, and with the trigger on the stack, we can Shallow Grave. Or we can also do that with Buried Alive, or we can Nahiri or Through the Breach. So it's not really close. It's exactly what. Oh, look, it's the Mana Crypt. Moment of Truth. I think Demonic Tutor is better than Mana Crypt here, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, I just don't think Mana Crypt is that great. I know it's weird. I know it's a controversial opinion, but. I think Mana Crypt is actually a trap. Yeah, I think it's Demonic Tutor here. I think Demonic Tutor is just better than Crypt here. So, um, If we took Bonfire, it'd be really about taking the Scrawl Rack. Otherwise, turn three Seething, turn three seething Song into uh, Through the Breach is pretty good. Or we can turn three Seething Song into Goblin Dark Dwellers. Into Seething Song, into Through the Breach. That seems pretty good. It's definitely not show and tell. I can see Black Cleave Cliffs, but I'm pretty sure it's just Seething Song. I mean, isn't Mana Vault just a... I don't... Does it... Okay, so you're saying how often is Mana Vault better than just a Colorless Dark Ritual? It's never better than a Colorless Dark Ritual. It just is a Colorless Dark Ritual, right? Like, that's just what it is. Right? Like, you're asking how much better than that is it. It's it's not. It's literally that. That's what it is. Dark Ritual. Also, Wheel of Fortune. If we had any... I wish these weren't Jund lands. I wish these were... Uh, or White lands instead. Bernardo, did you just did you just like start the pick? I'm gonna take Wheel of Fortune. I don't think we want a, another ritual. Plus, we have it could just be the stronger card. It's it is a discard outlet too as well. You're right. Unburial right seems pretty good. We just we do need fixing though. Like I'm all about some fixing right now, and we don't have any. Unburial rights is also a good card to discard with Bizarre. So there's that. Well, Blight Steel is a thing. Never stays in the graveyard, though. Like, I hate the reanimator decks because, like, you just never have the guys staying in the graveyard. You have to, like... It's still good with Nahiri. It's still good with uh, Through the Breach. Mm, Dark Petition's pretty good. We could take Workshop and uh, play this guy for 9 mana. That's pretty good. I guess it's still 10. Yeah, there's nothing in this pack other than Dark Petition, really. I 
I am worried about our ability to play Nahiri. We do have a whole other pack after this, which is nice. All the good ones never stay in the bin. Recurring Nightmare. Um, Scrublands better. <laughs> like Recurring Nightmare is good, but like we don't have any guys. Like again, these guys don't stay in the graveyard, so we also don't have many creatures. We have literally these two: a Dark Dweller and a Nazumi Grave Robber, which might not even get played. So we're just gonna take the Scrubland. I think Inkwell is a great option, but we definitely want fixing here. Razaketh is pretty good. I'll take a Razaketh. I'll take an 88 Flying Trampler that does stay in the graveyard. Like I do want I definitely want to play Nahiri, especially with our deck, so I can't see not taking Nahiri. Um I like Young Pyromancer because you do have Razaketh. That's interesting. Well, I want to take a double white card. I still don't understand this deck. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm going to take Young Pyromancer. And Braids is whatever. Now we have two rats. Two flip rats. Um, Nevin Rolls Disc. We could have Mind's Desire and Empty Thorns. Lingering Souls. Oh, that's great. Yep, Sulfuric Vortex. You can go over here. Oh, God. Cold Lighting Someone's Anyone is just the worst, dude. I mean, it's the best, but it's also the worst. Exhume is a thing. It is a sorcery, though. Hmm... Solemn Simulacrum and Inspiring Vantage are also good. Are we I don't know if we're reanimators so much as putting... So we have to consider that the fact that like Exhum doesn't do much because it's a sorcery. So we'll never be able to get these guys back. The only things we can get back with Exhum are this guy and this guy. Which is not very good for us. That being the case, I almost feel like it's Solemn Simulacrum here. It ramps us. And I have a feeling one of these like... Three cards will come back. Maybe Worn Power Stone. We'll see. Either way, I don't like Exhum here. So, Ulamog the Infinite G Infinite Gyre. I think we're definitely looking towards a Nahiri. Oh, it's a replacement ability. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Coalition Relic is good so is Ulamog Necro does sack if you flash it yeah Um, what does it say uh, you may cast it as a sort of flash if you cast it anytime a sorcery couldn't have been cast. The control of the permanent it becomes sacrificed at the beginning of the next clean at the beginning of the cleanup step. So no, you can't do it EOT because then they'll die. I think we're gonna take up coal. I think we're gonna take coalition relic here. I feel like we can get another fatty. Oh, living death? No, that doesn't do it. Mere battle sphere is mere battle sphere is actually perfect for us. There's also cabal ritual and right of flame. Yeah, we're gonna take the battle sphere. That's perfect. That goes into the graveyard quite well. This is actually pretty tempting to just take. Ancient Tomb, not bad either. Maybe it is? I don't know. I don't like taking consistent damage from my mana sources. Yeah, Crater Hoof. This is not. Yeah, we don't have enough creatures for Crater Hoof, unfortunately. 
Also, if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying it. Uh, it definitely helps me out. And, uh, yeah, you get to feel good about your life choices. Oh, Sheoldred. Yeah, Sheoldred's another good one. Chandra Flame Collar. It's a discard outlet. I think we might just want Chandra here. I don't think it's Corpse Dance. I think we like Chandra. I like Chandra here. Hmm. Is this a Welder deck? Coalition Relic, Mana Vault, Solemn Simulacrum, Mirror Battle Sphere. Maybe. I think it's worth having. I don't think there's any better card in this pack for it, so. Than it, I should say. Hmm. Well, that's a card. Eighth Pick and Tomb is a thing, I guess. I'm just going to take the Entomb. Ah, oh, Inspiring Vantage. I want the Dread Boar, but I think Inspiring Vantage is much better for us, so. Also, Murderous Cut is probably closer to a four. Unbearable Rights is going to be discarded, so that's like a four. The Ulamog comes back. All right. Living Death comes back. Cabal Ritual and Rite of Flame also come back. All right. This is all very strange. It's definitely Living Death here. We don't need a, another ritual. Crater Hoof comes back. This is very strange. I'm going to take the Crater Hoof. Wow, these green cards are so underappreciated. We have a lot of decisions to make here. Uh, still can't reanimate Colossus even with a welder. It never goes to the graveyard. It just goes to the. It shuffles in your library instead. It never. It's never in the graveyard for any amount of time. Toxic Deluge probably goes to the sideboard. Chandra Pyromaster is not super impressive. Because we don't want to actually exile our big guys. I do like Razaketh with both Lingering Souls and Pyromath Pyromancer and Battlesphere. That's pretty good. Um, we might actually want to take out the Blightsteel because... Like, if they block it with a 2-2, and we have... Like, if we threw the Breach in and they block it with a 2-2, it just dies. It doesn't die. It's it, 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 Nine Infect gets through, and then we have no way to actually do anything else. So, I think we're just going to take that guy out if we have to pick. Um, I don't think we care about Desperate Ritual. I think we do care about Seething Song, because going from 3 to 5 is really good. Gugger with a two-month sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. You are awesome. So buried alive, we can hit like Mere Battlesphere, Razaketh, Shield Red. Dark Petition is not great. We have Demonic Tutor, so that's an easy cut. And then for these guys, we have Unbarrow Rights. We have Shallow Grave if we want it. We have. Welder for Battle Sphere. I don't think I like Welder in the deck. We only have four artifacts. And I don't really want to get rid of any of them. So I think that's an easy cut. Also, I can see cutting Ritual, and then we can just play Bizarre of Baghdad over it. I don't even know if we want the Bizarre, to be quite honest. We have Nahiri, we have Entomb, and Buried Alive. Like, we don't actually have... We have plenty of ways to get things in the graveyard. 
Yeah, I think this is the deck. Do we get Desper Ritual for something better? I almost don't mind Living Death. Or, I, actually, Angel of Sanctions could be good from the sideboard. Or not from the sideboard, but in the main deck. Because just putting her in the graveyard means we can embalm it. I can see playing Thoughtseize over Desperate Ritual. Yeah, I like that a lot. I do like Angel as well. But I don't think it's better than any of these other cards in our deck. I think everything else is pretty good. Hmm. I mean, you can never cast the Living Death with Goblin Dark Dwellers, right? Like, there's no way to do that, if that's what you mean. What if we draw one? I mean, we have um, Chandra to discard, Nahiri to discard. We can target ourselves with Thoughtseize. I mean, we can also just cast it off of Mana Vault, Coalition Relic, Solemn Simulacrum, and Seething Song, so I really don't think it's that bad. Oh, I do like Ritual Breach Splice. The problem with Wheel is if we have either of these in our hand, it just exiles our entire graveyard, which I don't like. So if, we have, if we're trying to get Shieldred in the graveyard, but we also have Ulamog in our hand, they're all gone. We don't get to do that. So I, I really don't like that that much. I think this is actually fine. Plus a lot of these only cost seven, so it's not... They're not terribly expensive. I don't think Wheel is great here. I, for the reason I just explained. All right. Yeah, we have we have Through the Breach, we have Nahiri, we have Chandra. And we can also Demonic Tutor for any of those, which gives us a, another way to do it. So I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, Relic is just an 8-8 black flying trampler. Like, there's no reason that should be on the sideboard. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight, seven, and four. Pretty sure we can actually have three here and just add another red. We definitely want more red because we have double red, double red. I think. So, so seven, eight, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, three. Not including Coalition Relic or Psalm Simulacrum, which I think is fine. We only have two white cards, so. The problem with Welder is these are the only two artifacts we want to get back. Psalm Simulacrum and Mere Battle Sphere. If we don't have either one of these in the graveyard, it just does nothing. And we also have to have one of these in play. So we have to have one of these in the graveyard and one of these in play for Welder to do anything, and that's just not very good. Uh, I disagree with that. I think Goblin Dark Dweller is getting back a Shallow Grave or a Demonic Tutor or a Seething Song, and then just... That's basically Dark Dwellers for free. Um, I think that's very good. But we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I will say yes. I'm going to keep this hand. So we can go Demonic Tutor for a Through the Breach. That seems good. Oh, went to five. No good. Murderous cut. Uh, I'm just going to get through the breach here. And I'm going to assume they don't have a way to uh, to deal with that. That's where they go sit green sun for one and then turn to sneak attack. 
Oh. Oh boy. Live in that dream. That's how you do it, good sir. Oh, perfect timing for the sub. All right, and that'll do. So, um, that seems good, right? That seems pretty ideal. <laughs> oh. I almost like Chandra now because they have, we know they have one mana guys. I don't know what we'd cut for it, though. Yeah, that was pretty good. See, that's what I mean. Like, then then Goblin Dark Rollers just becomes an Urza's, an Urza's card. Where it untaps five lands for you. I can see cutting souls for Chandra. Sure, we'll do that. Well, that was good times. I'm not sure even if they... Um, What up, Ken? Yeah, Linner, it was a good one. We went uh, turn three Seething Song into Goblin Dark Dwellers, flashing back Seething Song, casting through the Breach, putting Emrakul into play, and then they scooped. Demonic Tutor is a hell of a card. Ooh, no black. Eight black sources in the deck, plus... I'm going to keep this hand. Apparently, this is what happens when we draft without Mike. We just get to turn three, kill people. Swamp? Oh, that's a swamp. Yeah, we kept this. We have a Nahiri. Um, any one land lets us start playing these, and... Uh, any black is just business. Black? Oh, boy. All right, so less less exciting game this game. Uh, I don't think this was that bold of a keep. We have eight black sources, so it's one in f eight, six, three, one in four that we're gonna have black source. Plus coalition relics, so actually nine black sources. So closer to one in three and a half. Plus any land lets it let us play Nahiri, and we can discard something like Emrakul. Oh, toxic deluge can come in. Oh. Oh, you didn't even wait, you didn't even want to play Eternal Witness, even though it's you'd rather have that on the bottom of your library? That's weird. Why not just play it? It's just an extra two power. Oh my god, Toxic Deluge one time. That would be amazing. We don't have it in our deck, but yeah, we're definitely boarding into Toxic Deluge. This is this hand did not go as as planned, unfortunately. But I'll take responsibility for that. It was a risky keep, but Oh yeah. Nope. Now we're going to go to the next game. Oh, look at that. Fashionably late to the party. All right, Toxic Deluge. Forgot forgot you're coming in. You're a good one. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. We'll take Ulamog the Infinite Gyre out. Actually, I don't want to take any Annihilator guys out. Those are the best. We'll take out the Razaketh. I do still dabble in Hearthstone. I love Hearthstone. Actually, I can see taking Bury Life for Lingering Souls. Guess we don't have time for that now, though. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. This hand seems great. We can make this work. Search for a through the breach. If we hit a land, we can do it next turn. Yep, let's do that. Old through the breachums. So next turn we go relic. 
Add a mana with relic. I have, I've completed about four or five dungeon runs. I think it's five. So I'm might be four actually. No, it's five. So I think I have four left. Um, might as well get a red. I mean, do we just throw the breach Emerald? We have to, right? Like that's like the perfect thing right here. Did we pay too much? Yeah, we did. All right, cool. I mean, it just deals in 15, destroys three land. Like, that's broken, right? And we still get to keep Coalition Relic and next turn play Shieldred. Or, bat or Battlesphere when they have one land. Yeah, that's how we're going to end this match. We're going to play this first because it deals more damage and also because um, I'd rather have a guy in the graveyard to get back with Shouldered. You saw my son chasing cats up trees in the park? You're calling the authorities unless I do something about it? Call the authorities. Take them away. Seven turns total. See was fair, man. <laughs> Are you guys getting volume here? Can you hear me? Are you, are, are my live? Boot to the head says he can't hear me talking yet other channels are working fine. My mic is working. It's the levels are looking, looking hot to trot. Two seven drops and a murderous cut. Mm, not ideal, we're gonna ship this hand. This is a better hand. Oh, this is a better hand. Boy, this is a better hand. Oh, luxurious volume? That's what I want to hear. Can we just get... um? Can we just tutor for Unbarrow Rights? And play Unbarrow Rights next turn? And then next turn... Or not Unbarrow, it's uh, Buried Alive. Boot to the head, that's super weird, buddy. Good luck, I'll need it. Dang. So we're gonna have, we'd have five mana. We can tutor, we have three mana left over. So next time I have six, we can unbear our rights and entomb. Yeah, we can do that. We can also do Coalition Relic. No, that doesn't do it. We want a guy in the graveyard. The problem with Entomb is that it doesn't... Uh... With Entomb is that it doesn't get us multiple guys for our double buried alive, but I guess... Or on burial rights, but... Uh... It is what it is. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do, you know? Boot to the head, did you mute the tab? Is that what it was? That would be hilarious if that's the solution. Yeah, you can mute individual tabs. So I can see if you open different streams and different tabs. T. Ravis, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. It's your boy, T. Ravis. I hope you tap out for something dumb. Is it going to be dumb? Mana Flare. Oh. Now I wish I got the very alive. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're so close that next time we can just hard cast at Wilmog. Oh god. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, let's search for a card and put it into the into the trash can. I think it's Shieldred here. I mean, that's the only thing we can really unbear our rights. We can't get Ulamog, Emrakul. We could get Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers doesn't do anything, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five for Dark Dwellers. Flashback in Tomb. I think that's too cute. I think we just get shoulder and kill the Jace. So on the bright side, we can still hard cast Ulamog next turn, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Bring me the boy. <laughs> What's that from? That sounds like it's from something. It's got to be from something, right? Oh, discard Yogmoss will. Okay. I mean, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre hitting Mana Flare seems pretty good for us. But let's see if we ever get a chance to cast it. Time Twister. No, Time Spiral. Is it Time Spiral? It is always Time Spiral. Well, that's still pretty good. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. They have ten mana. That's brutal. It's from Harry Potter. <laughs> That's amazing. Chris, I love you. The Squitter. Happy New Year, buddy. I'm sorry there's less Barbobbly Boo right now. I mean, if they don't win, I think we're in good shape, but I don't have... This is the part where we just get to sit back and watch it all happen. I'm very familiar with this part. Justice, thank you so much for saying... I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it, man. I'm glad to hear it. I've been, I've been posting every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so if you guys haven't done so, go to YouTube and subscribe to me there. You can subscribe to me on Twitch. However you choose to show your support is awesome, and I appreciate it. Okay, Metamorph into Shieldred. That seems fine. Seems good. I guess we'll get Goblin Dark Dwellers back. I guess we'll sacrifice you. Nope. This is actually not bad because of the Dark Dwellers. I wish we knew what we were drawing here. But I think this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Do we just get... What do we get here? We have 11 mana. Hmm, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 
seven manners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unburial doesn't seem great when I want to get I want to get rid of mana flare. I don't know if that's good enough though. Ugh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just counting. I'm just making sure. Making sure. Like, I think it might just be Ulamog. Kill Mana Flare seems very good for us. And then they have to deal with an indestructible Ulamog. Yeah, I'm going to go with Ulamog here. Nahiri does do it, but Ulamog leaves us with a, a guy that doesn't die. <laughs> Ken, thank you so much for the, the five bones. Appreciate it. You are awesome. So you get to go to your... Yep. Yeah, Alright, so we got one dude in hand, which we can actually not cast next turn, but we'll take six, and then we'll sack the Dark Dwellers and deal you ten and make you sack all your things. Uh, opponent copied it with a Phyrexian Metamorph. Considering their storm, I feel like it's safer to get rid of the Mana Flare. And we can deal with Shieldred uh, at our convenience. Might not have the luxury, though. Like, we have to sacrifice this guy on our turn. Sure. The funny thing is, them going Time Spiral into Mind Twist, Phyrexian Metamorph is actually not even the most degenerate thing they could have done. Like, that's basically just, uh... Interesting. Yawgmoth's Will, Lion's Eye Diamond on the stack. <laughs> For the record, I know her... Yeah, I mean, Black Alesh Norn is just... Just makes more sense. Yep, no blocks. Actually, Lion's Eye Diamond's an easy thing to crack with. Uh... Hmm. When was the last time I listened to the Lepore rap? Um, it's been a while, but it's always in my head, so it's it's okay. My question is, do I untap this? I don't know. I feel like I do. No. If we do, we're just going to have to sacrifice Ulamog next turn anyway. So I really have to hope that I hit something. No, I'm not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Yeah, this is rough. Uh, they wouldn't have had enough mana. I guess they could go Firebolt and then crack Lion's Eye Diamond, but maybe their two cards are worth more than that. Yeah, we should have actually untapped this. Now I feel stupid. I mean, this puts me on a two-turn clock anyway. Like, this guy can't block her, is the problem. Say no more, Elash Norn. I mean, alternatively, we could have gotten Shouldered back to uh, deal with their Shouldered, which would have been good. Um... The problem with that is they still have Mana Flare, which is very scary in the Storm deck. I don't know. Yeah, you can say you needed to forget the Mana Flare and kill the dude now. Like, in hindsight, that's fantastic advice. Congratulations. The problem being that we didn't know that, and... Uh... And... 
And Jace gets to flip. I don't think it was better at the time. No. I mean, this is just the difference in opinions. We're just disagreeing. Like, that's... Sure. The card wasn't doing anything for us. Yep, sack you. Graveyard goes away, which is really bad for us. Um, no. Matt, yeah. <laughs> All right, yep, that's game. Oh, you're saying use Ulamog to get rid of the um, the shielder instead of the flare, not get shielder back. Yeah, I think that might have been. Yeah, okay, I can agree with that. I think that would have been fine. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think our deck is good like this. There's nothing I'm super unhappy with. Like, even the Murderous Cut has a use when they have uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, so. Well, this is not great. However, if we draw land. Entomb, put like. No, it doesn't, it doesn't do much, though. Ah, uh, this hand is much better. keep um no don't care about mana One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. What do we get here? We don't have any red. We can go Coalition Relic, actually. One, two, three. Coalition Relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We could just actually play Nahiri next turn, which is pretty good. Yeah, I like Nahiri next turn. Coalition Relic, land Nahiri. Oh, here we go. Mind twist for a million. <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> Funnest card in the cube. Oh, I didn't want to play Magic anyway. Well, one man away from that. That's not terrible. And I still have six cards in hand. I like that this costs two cards to get rid of three of them. Well, that's actually not terrible. Land or a spell we can cast. That is neither. All right. At the beginning, sack a dude. Dude, 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 dude. Alright. I'm actually going to untap this. I'm satisfied with whatever we do this turn. Oh, that would have been good. But they're not actually. They're missing. They missed like three land drops because they kept the Dark Ritual Mind Twist hand. Mana Flare. All right, well, now we get to put them on the stack. What are you doing? Put them there. Yeah, there you go. Put them on the stack. Put them, put them on the stack. A red mana here would be, boy, would it be good. Oh, that's so cute. You get to keep your things. Wow, that's very good.
My biggest problem is if they copy Shieldred, they get the first trigger to sacrifice, so then we have to lose our Shieldred. I do like him spiraling and uh, losing to a full grip here. That's pretty good. Three rituals, a Jace. Yeah, sure, we'll just take the brain freeze, whatever. Oh, yeah, I have no doubt they're going to win, but, I mean... I mean, we, that's why we play the game. Draw Phyrexian Metamorph. No, it's a thousand percent time spiral here. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. twenty two, twenty three. Okay, that's not, that's not threshold, so that's good for us, right? Yep. Hey, we got the Thoughtseize back. Look at that. hi -ya. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eighteen mana. Nineteen, twenty mana. I think we're dead. Man. Only one more one more turn with this shoulder would have killed him. I mean if they chose to to use Imperial Seal in that situation. So Oh my god, the Lava Claw reaches wouldn't be hilarious. I'm surprised they didn't play Jace before Time Spiral. Because that's just an easy... Every day we stray further from Richard Garfield's light. <laughs> oh, man. You got it. Tapping a mana vault seems pretty pretty gross. Oh, you're just going to deal three to me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't know even, I don't know why you did that. All right. Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was pretty rough. I think we could have won the first game, which would have put us in a game three, but uh, it was not meant to be. Ooh, no. Yes, okay. I'm going to Thought Seize them on turn one because, good lord, who knows what they have. Lightning Greaves, Spear of Heliod, Umazawa's Jitte, Soulfire Grandmaster. Um, I'm just going to take the Jitte. That seems like the scariest card. Can we just draw, like, Emrakul off top? Emrakul off the top. You play planes. Now you played a Soulfire Grandmaster. No, Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay. That's kind of like drawing an Emrakul. 
okay, it's basically like drawing an Emrakul. Your move, good sir. I'll cast it. Good games, buddy. Um, we I feel like we could have won, like we could have actually been in the game if we killed your shield instead of the mana uh, clash, mana flash, whatever that card's called, mana, mana flare, mana flare. Uh, in game one, but uh, yeah, game two we were just you you were uh doing significantly better better than us. So yeah, good games though, definitely good games. Like those are cube games, so hard to be mad. I'm gonna wipe their board. And uh, that's going to be the end of it, I think. Oh, we can actually play that, which is nice. Oh god, don't manatide me. Oh, I got so scared. I'm still so scared. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. Getting my emerald into your face. That's the end of the game. All right, Toxic Deluge comes in. And probably take out Lingering Souls. I wonder if Living Death is good here. What up, City of Ass? All right. Um... No, I don't like sit at Living Death because if you play a Toxic Deluge and then you have to play Living Death, it's just not very good. I don't like really depending on that. Um, Lingering Souls might be better than Pyromancer, though. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't care. Could take out Pyromancer bringing bring in Chandra, actually. I kind of like that better because if we're Toxic Deluging, I don't like... Uh... Hmm. If we draw a land, we can search for a Seething Song and then through the Breach... Ulamog. I'm going to mulligan because this has one land. This also has one land and it's just worse. This is a good hand though. And it has three lands. In case you guys didn't know. Uh-huh. Oh, a little seething song. I don't think we're entombing yet. We gotta see what piece we need. Well, G Willikers. So Seething Song, Murderous Cut, we can Entomb, I don't think that's a good. We're going to put the Jitte on this guy, it's really bad. I do like putting Shieldred in the graveyard because I think it's the most versatile. I think it's the strongest card when you don't have anything else. This is a... This is a hell of a student here. I would like an abrade. Good old chef pancake. Yeah, I'm just going to get uh, shielded because I think it turns on a lot of different things. Maybe? I don't know. We're going to have three mana next turn. Is there anything that's good with three mana? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Um, actually, we could get Tutor and Tutor for something, but... Eh. Eh. I'm just going to put Shoulder in there for now. And hope we just draw on Barrel Rights. We didn't, but that's okay. That's okay, Dad. We can actually kill this guy if we wanted to, but then we have to exile the Shoulder, so we can wait a turn. We can't get Tutor. You're right. I was thinking into I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> we can get Tutor. It's like 3 a.m. here, so give me, cut me some slack here, but 
Um, yeah, we cannot get Tudor. Oh god, this guy's gonna be so big. Taking you, taking you away in the world today. Takes everything you got. I'm gonna just murder this dude. Or, oh god, just let us top. No, we can't top deck anything here. I can top deck in barrel rights, actually. It's pretty good. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes. Uh, living situation, I'm just gonna stay in this in this house. We're just gonna renew the lease. Oh. What does that do? Let's get a black. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good. So we're going to go one, two. It's a pretty good life choice uh, to get the guy. We're going to get the, on the burial roots and the return of this a creature. I bring you back into my house. One of your men will die unless you have swords to plowshares my creature. Okay, she dead. That's a sad. Wow, and before we reanimate Shelly and she eats a sword. That's amazing. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if just pumping this guy would be better, right? Eight, nine, yeah, you would have just killed us with this. I think I think we're still alive right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, now we go to Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep. No. Oh, it's Exaxes. It's exact. Oh, it's not Exaxes. We we survived. Hmm. Color me surprised. I think we're dead though. Yeah, we're hundred percent dead. Slalom simulacrum. Get another black here. And then we can murderous cut something by getting rid of our umbrella rights, which is it's a pretty sad. Great. Ugh. Yep, this is a lot of damage. Except for that, we're gonna kill it. I do not like losing me on burial root. <laughs> They're really going ham here. I uh, this is not a course of action I recommend, but put this creature in the trash can. That uh, we're still dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad, dude. Oh my god, we're still dead. Come on, draw a card. Buried alive, done nothing. Okay, so. Wow. Yeah, we're taking Pyromancer out. We're bringing in um, this Chandra. Oh man. So sad. Oh, I'm gonna keep this hand because it's got a toxic deluge and a bunch of bunch of things that we can do cool stuff with, so. I mean it's super expensive, but whatever, dude. Disc is an option, definitely. It doesn't kill planeswalkers though. Um I guess toxic deluge doesn't either. Uh lingering souls is great, but we have toxic deluge, so we actually took it out. We boarded it out because we're just bringing Toxic Deluge, so. I will take two. 
I can only hope you play two more one drums. Nope. That's a good one, though. Making your way in the world today. To oh, we can't even bury alive this turn. Not like we have anything to put in the graveyard anymore. We have, like, two of our, our, our creatures that actually go into the graveyard in our hands, so... Don't play Vryn Wingmare, and then we're good to go. Skull Clamp, sacrifice your creature. No Skull Clamp. Soulfire, Grandmaster. I think this is good enough to... Uh, to Toxic Deluge for two here. I think I'm okay with that. Oh, actually, if we can get to Chandra... Um, <laughs> we get to discard our whole hand and then I'm burial right something. That's pretty good. Three for one seems good. Mana ties would have been sad. Mm hmm. That. That is, that is scarier. That's not great. I feel like we're in bad shape here. I'm not thrilled about it. Let's put Battle Sphere and Dark Dwellers in the graveyard. Swords, Sun Titan, and Angel of Sanctions. I'm going to take the Swords because the other two cards are super expensive. I think we're actually dead, unfortunately. Thoughtseize ourselves could have been very good. Um... But we do have Unbarrel Rights into uh, Goblin Dark Dwellers, which is what my plan was. Yep. Oh, come on. <sighs> anyone land, please. 17 land deck. Anyone land. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, I could have thought these discard on barrel rights, but then we have nothing in the graveyard to get. So, like, there's a bunch of different lines, but either all of them are, like, kind of, like, one... One thing to, one thing away. Like, they're one either one land away or one creature in the graveyard away or one... Whatever away. Some kind of way. Thank you. All right, we're going to get back. Oh, Dark Dwellers? Did we get Dark Dwellers and then... No, we're not Deluging. I think we just get Battle Sphere back. Because even if they draw land for Angel, we're in good shape here. Because we can still block the Vampire. <laughs> the one Vampire. <laughs> Vomit. And if we draw one more land, we can play Chandra and negative four everything. Eh. So long, Mere Battle Sphere. Ugh. Actually, we can Garvin Dark Dwellers negative four everything. Oh, but they're gonna pump the the Jitte guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna chump block this guy. They're gonna gain a million life, whatever. Is that good? So they put the Jitte on here. They pump this guy, and then we do get to survive. So long as they don't hit another land. So here's what I think we're going to do. Well, they take three here. Okay. We could Liliana and get back Dark Dwellers and then Deluge for three. 
if they blocked, but they didn't block. So now we're just going to have to Chandra. And maybe they'll forget to pump. They'll never forget to pump. Oh, they, they forgot to pump. This is good news. So they have to draw land. If they draw land, they can go Sun Titan into, like, they draw land. <laughs> They're so good at this land drawing game. However, if we draw one more land, we can play Shield Red, and then they have to sacrifice their Angel of Sanctions, which is pretty, pretty good. One more land off the top. It's not a land off the top. We do have Unburial Rights. Is there anything else we can get? Is Razaketh in our deck still? Razaketh is in our hand, so the answer is no. Well, we can still cast Unburial Rights and Liliana if we Entomb. So we might as well Entomb and see what we get. I don't think it's anything. Can't get Emrakul. We can get Solemn, but then we're dead. I think we're just dead to this, this Angel of Sanctions. Which is pretty unfortunate. Actually, no. We have Dark Dwellers. We can actually get... We can Murderous Cut. No, that doesn't cost three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. We don't have Souls. We boarded it out. Yeah, we could have Yeah, we could have Entombed for Souls if we left it in. We let we boarded it out because we have uh, toxic deluge. That's it. That's the play. Unbearer rights, goblin dark dwellers. We got the line, guys. Goblin Dark Dwellers, Demonic Tutor. Cast a Demonic Tutor. Get a Murderous Cut. Kill you right now. One, two, three, four, five. And attack you for infinite. And you have a Sun Titan, but the only thing you can get back is stupid creatures, so. And we still have Shouldered in hand. And you actually can't... I guess you can get back Thalia or Kithian. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lightning Greaves, so you're not playing Sun Titan. You might be dead then. Is that how do you How are you alive? Four plus eight is twelve. Plus eight is twenty plus four. This is actually lethal if you don't have a Oh you gain life though. So you have to gain life here. Sun Titan gets haste. But the creature you get back doesn't, so as long as we have a blocker. Okay. Do it again. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do it for this uh, because I'd like to keep a blocker up. And we're going to just Solemn Simulacrum for a land here gives us two blockers two blue blockers we can easily block with solemn I feel like we're in good shape here they're at six so we can actually kill them with this uh, they can't play Sun Titan and equip the Jitte so they don't get more counters to kill our guys that's
Of course. Why wouldn't you have a flyer? I feel like we're in pretty good shape, he says. Yeah. All right. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.